Welcome Leos. I'm back y'all with another video. Happy to be here with you all. Hope everything is going well. Let's see what we get for my Leos. This is going to be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. Look, Leos. <laughs> If you are new to the channel, come on in, come on in, come on in. Happy to be here with y'all. Go ahead and click the bell so you won't miss out on any future videos. All right, so let's talk, Leo. So let's see what messages we got for y'all. All right, so yes, let's take all of this in, guys. I want to show y'all some new stuff going on that we got going on. Yes, we got some new oils here. We got the Crown of Success oil. This is, is an extension of the Money Magnet oil. Okay. This is going to be on the website Friday. It is infused with crystals. Okay. This is the Mermaid oil. Yes, yes, yes. This is the one who, that I've been advertising all day. This is the one that I'm putting on display first. Um, and then tomorrow we'll talk, discuss more about the crown of success. We got the lover's oil here. You know, we're getting ready to jump into Valentine's Day. Yes, yes, yes. This is infused with rose quartz uh, crystals as well as roses um, and a few more other, uh, few more other things. All of that information is going to be in the, on the website, okay? And then we got this special oil. Look, this here. <laughs> this is going to be the one right here, okay? This is intriguing a lot of people. Um, and I have it see-through like this for a specific reason, okay? If you haven't noticed, like the rest of them, like this has 24K flakes in it, and it has aberrant... I can never say that. I'm not going to say never. But I just have a hard time saying what type of crystal this is. Avertarine crystals, okay, at the bottom here. And 24K flakes in it. That you can see, you can see it. The mermaid oil does not have um, any crystals in it. But it has an amazing fragrance. And it is infused with amazing, some amazing herbs, guys. All of this stuff is going to be on the website. Okay, but this one is clear. And it has... Um, clear quartz in it as well too for a specific reason for a very specific reason so y'all stay tuned y'all not gonna want to miss out on future videos okay Woo. are y'all being stubborn because these cars are being like extremely stubborn <laughs> All right, so let's see. Leo's, Leo's, Leo's. Give me a message for my Leo's, please, for going into uh, February. Ooh. Okay, so let's see, y'all got a lot of jumpers coming out. All right, so we got the Hierophant. You can be dealing with the Taurus. We got the Nine of Swords. You're worried about something, possibly like a marriage or a higher level of commitment. Somebody's, uh, the truth here. I'm getting like some, you want somebody to tell the truth. We got the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Like you're trying to get the truth here. Okay, so let's, let's see what's going on. Give me a message for Leo's, please. Because Leo's are ready to talk, like... Leo's are ready to talk. <laughs> All right, let's stop it right here. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got you guys' energy, Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and the Seven of Swords. Yikes. Mm, four of Pentacles and the Hierophant and the Lovers. Someone here could very much so be living with someone or something like that. They could be married and they are stepping out i'm getting like somebody stepping out of a marriage here or something like that all right let's see what's going on ace of cups king of wands nine of swords y'all been worrying y'all worrying about something and the nine of pentacles y'all like the same cards are coming out 
the, the Ace of Swords. Leo said, I said what I said when I threw them cards out the first time. That's what I, that's what I meant. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. The Strength card. Eight of Cups. Page of Swords. And the Ten of Cups. Okay, so... Let's see what we got going on here. I'm getting like y'all are overthinking a situation. You guys may have some a new person coming into your life um, as well. I feel like after a period of being single. Why is the Nine of Swords here? I feel like y'all found out the truth about something. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Knight of Swords. Y'all yeah, are definitely overthinking something. You're confused. We got the Seven of Cups. Y'all are confused about something, okay? We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Moon. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or a Pisces here. Somebody here could be keeping secrets, okay? Look, I feel like y'all ended something or somebody betrayed you with the Devil card here. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. I feel like some of y'all got betrayed. Okay, somebody said that they were divorced or separated. Okay. I'm getting like you didn't know. Four of Cups and the High Priestess. Somebody's feeling like they didn't know. Okay. And maybe you feel real played. You feel real tried by this person. Or the story is vice versa. Okay, are you the one that's married and... You didn't tell somebody that you were married or something like that. Take the story as it resonates because, like I said, it could be vice versa. Yeah, see. So you turn into a cold hearted mother. <laughs> you might have been telling your friends all about this, what happened. Mm. Y'all are real. Y'all, y'all pissed. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. And the Queen of Wands. And the Seven of Swords. Y'all could have found out that you were in a third party situation. And y'all are pissed. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Sun. Alright, so... For some of you, I feel like there's a new person entering your life or you're ready for something new, okay? You feel like this situation here is not worth putting in the effort, it's not worth investing into, so some of y'all are deciding to move on from this and start fresh, okay? You may have a Capricorn who's trying to block you um, from progressing and moving forward in this, but it's because this person is, like, narcissistic, this person is greedy, like, they're after, uh, what's, for what can benefit them with the devil and the ace of pentacles, okay, like, I'm getting, like, y'all are, uh, trying to venture out and do something new, why is the king of wands here, y'all looking for some new energy, like, that energy is too bad, why is the king of wands here, it's like spoiled milk, five of wands. Y'all might have people fighting over y'all, willing to fight over y'all. Y'all probably got people beating down y'all door, okay? Because you're the empress, okay? And you know, you know you bad, you know? You're the empress, the emperor. You feel like, yeah, you know what it is. They, they see it. <laughs> yeah, see, y'all got all type of people. Look at the emperor over here, the king of cups. The seven of wands. Like, y'all got people that are, you know. What's up? You single? <laughs> you single looking. Back on the prowl. <laughs> yep. See, some of y'all are single looking. Back on the prowl. <laughs> yes. Y'all got people, all type of people trying to offer y'all stuff. Like, yeah, like. Y'all ain't worried about this situation. Yeah, see, somebody here, we got the devil here. Somebody here is married or somebody here lives with somebody, already has something going on. And this is toxic. It's just toxic. It is what it is. 
Yep, and you're cutting this off. Don't come back. Don't come around here playing. Until you get you together, don't come back around here playing. Okay? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ooh. Yeah, see, you found out about this person's past. This person was hiding. This person was hiding something from, from about their past. Okay, a Virgo could be involved. Ooh, look at karma here. Ooh, judgment and the justice card. Karma. This is a karmic situation that you are just ready to be over. Two of Wands and a Ten of Swords. Like, you're just ready for this to be over. You feel like it's not worth it. I feel like you've been giving this, this person stability. You've been giving it, helping this person out. But I mean, they don't deserve it. I don't feel like this person deserves that from you. Yep, Four of Cups. You were disappointed because you found out something in the past, okay? You were possibly waiting on this person like, what's taking so long for this person to make up their mom? And it's because this person is already in a relationship or they're married and they're separated. Or they're telling you this. Okay, Four of Cups. Why is Four of Cups here? Yeah. You don't want to fix it. I'm getting like you saying, like, I don't even want to try to fix this right now. I don't even want to try to fix it. Like, I'm good. You telling them to go back where they was at. Now, we got Queen of Pentacles in the future. So, and we got the moon. I'm getting like... If you had passwords and things tied in with this person, somebody's changing their password so they won't get caught being sneaky, okay? Um, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is here. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Okay, so you could be feeling like that now, but I feel like you're still holding on to this person. Four of Pentacles and the Lovers. Somebody here just is does is not going to give somebody a commitment, the commitment that they're looking for, not at this time. Why is the will of fortune here? I'm getting somebody's changing their passwords. Yep, nine of wands. Somebody's changed their password. Hermit. A lot of y'all dealing with the Virgo. Look at this. We got the Emperor and the Empress. Okay, and the king of pentacles here. This could be a baby mother, baby father situation, a mother, father situation, a husband, wife situation. Somebody, something going on here that somebody has somebody's passwords to something. Somebody's changing the passwords, changing the locks or something. Somebody's going to be trying to get in somebody's phone and they're going to realize that they can't. Okay. And they're doing this because somebody is saying, somebody is saying like somebody talks too much. Ten of Wands and a Page of Cups and a Seven of Cups, and they like to keep confusion going. Why is the Strength card here? Eight of Pentacles. Ooh. Some of y'all tried to sabotage something so you can get. <laughs> Some of y'all tried. The Tower came in. So something all of a sudden got toe up, toe down, blew up. And you did this because you wanted to feel victorious. We know y'all are prideful. <laughs> Why the Eight of Pentacles here? Y'all don't like to feel like y'all losing. Yeah, see, you want this commitment from this person. You also possibly want this person to get a divorce. But I feel like y'all are scorned. Y'all are scorned here. There's something, I'm getting like even spiteful or jealousy, a jealous rage. Something has happened here. Something has happened and you're scaring somebody. You don't scare somebody off or you're scaring somebody into saying that you y'all are together or in a relationship. Whoo, this is a bit much. Why the eight of cups here? This person has walked away. We got the star. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Virgo towards Capricorn, but somebody, ooh, somebody is trying to move on from you. The world and the Six of Swords. Yeah. Somebody's trying to move on because they was playing. 
Somebody was playing. We got the Seven of Swords. Somebody was playing mind games. The Magician, the Seven of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. So they're going to play this little game and then try to run off. Why's the star card here? Five of Cups. Okay. They want you to regret telling somebody something. The Empress is the mother card, the wife, or sister, or aunt. They want you to regret telling somebody something, okay? Why is the Five of Cups here? And they're tired of feeling stuck. They're trying to find a way out. I keep getting King of Pentacles, the world, Six of Swords. Like somebody's trying to get up out of there. Why is the Page of Swords here? You didn't get any clear. They didn't. They were not honest. They were not honest. And I feel like you want to spy more. You want to get more information. You want to. You want to snoop some more. Like you want to find out more with the Death card and the King of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Like you didn't get enough clarity. You didn't get the clarity that you wanted. You want them to tell the truth. You want them to be honest. Ten of Cups is the outcome here. The Knight of Pentacles could be dealing with the Capricorn. I feel like there's going to be a breakup here or there's already been a breakup. Like things are slowly ending, coming to an end. Okay, we got the Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. If you guys are dealing with the Capricorn, either you walk away from a Capricorn or a Capricorn is getting ready to walk away from you. Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah, the Lovers. Okay, I feel like there's just been a tower moment here. Yeah, see, we got the Six of Swords. Y'all moving on. Yep, y'all moving on to something new. Y'all y'all are looking ahead. Y'all are looking ahead. So are you guys reminiscing on this situation? Because I feel like this has already happened for some of you. I feel like you you intuitively knew it was going to happen. You knew that was going to happen. You knew that was going to happen. You knew. Emperor. Maybe something like that happened to you before. This person could be older than you. But I'm getting like y'all showed out. The tower and the six of wands. Like y'all was like, okay, bet, bet. I feel like somebody here is trying to force somebody in a relationship here. Somebody tried to force somebody to be in a relationship. Because I'm getting like somebody here was helping somebody. Okay, so y'all may have invested in somebody. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. So maybe you thought that this was going to be solid. But it didn't work out that way. You found out that this person is a liar. King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. They could have stole money from you. Other females or other males just keep popping up. So somebody's telling somebody that they are, they're done. The Ten of Swords and the World and the Knight of Cups. Like, don't call my phone. Don't hit me up. Somebody's trying to make somebody jealous here. Somebody's family could be trying to make somebody jealous. We got the Magician, the Four of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Somebody's trying to make somebody jealous. This is a lot. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all on the next video. All right, Leos. Don't forget to check out the website as well as if you want to book a personal reading, guys. Until next time. Ciao for now.